What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today we're back with some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. We've got 3.75 million zombies here, just about 4 milli zombies versus 300 modern soldiers and Sherman tanks that they brought out of retirement for this very, very special occasion of defending these two bridges. I'm curious to see if the modern soldiers can pull it off. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. But without further ado, we'll get into this video. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on if you haven't already, and comment down below what you think is going to happen. Either way, let's get it. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off, as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So, Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship, and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then, boys, pressing start right now, and the Zombos should be moving forward. These are not the modern super soldiers that we've been using in previous videos. These are just the standard modern soldiers that are in the base game, so obviously if we were using the super soldiers, they would win this thing, considering the fact that they dominated 4 million zombies on their own, with only, it was like 100 of them or something like that. So this is going to be a little bit tougher. But of course, they've got the Shermans here to back them up. And as you can see, every Sherman shot just absolutely obliterates a huge number of zombies on the battlefield. Now, I chose these two bridges because I don't think the zombies are going to be able to flank them, hopefully. Like, there's no flank possibility over here. And then the next closest bridge is all the way over there. And they'd have to cross through this bridge, go across the island, go there, and then all the way around. So I'm not sure if the zombie AI will figure to do that or not. We'll just have to see if they do. It is what it is. And the modern soldiers are just going to have a little extra something that they're going to have to deal with. And, uh, sucks for them. <laughs> you know, I, I uh, uh, they just better be up for the challenge, baby. They better be up for the souse. Oh, wait. Are those? No, those are zombies moving this way. I was like, uh-oh. Wait, are they moving across? No, they are very close to this bridge, though. I wouldn't be too surprised if they did decide to jut out over this way. But not yet, not yet. They're still maintaining the two-bridge offensive going on right here. And there is quite a number of zombies getting right on up into these Shermans' faces. Now, the Shermans, of course, have incredible armor. How much do they have? 10,000! 10, 10,000! They've got quite a bit. I'm going to take some pot shots here for fun. Wait, we can zoom in even farther. Uh, so, I'm not too worried about these Shermans going down. And in fact, it's probably for the best that the Shermans are at the very, very front of the army here. And they're able to absorb any damage that might possibly come towards the modern soldiers instead of them. So, you know, that's a good thing right there. They are taking a few hits, but not much. I mean, this thing's taking 50 damage, actually after all is said and done here. So this is not looking too bad at all. Right now we are up to 26,000 dead zombies and zero, zero losses for the big bad modern soldiers and Sherman. So we're looking pretty saucy. We're looking pretty good. Oh, the Shermans are, are shooting some zombies up in the air actually. And it's resulting in them flying behind the modern soldier lines. And then they, like, turn around to shoot them back there. That's kind of funny. There's just flying zombies everywhere, baby. They're flying every which way. This bridge does seem to be holding a lot better, though. I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, the bridges are, like, for the most part identical, correct? Yeah, maybe this one's actually a little bit longer. Yeah, the one on the right might be just a smidge longer, and maybe that is playing into their advantage right there. But, I mean, they should have the exact same number of soldiers and the same number of Shermans. Both have five, right? Yep, both have five Shermans. I'm not going to count the soldiers, but I'm pretty sure each side has 150. So it should be perfectly even, as all things should be right there. Oh, I love that. L like, check this out. You just randomly see Sherman shots flying in the distance and then just impacting random spots of zombies. And boom, it's like, oh, there's 40 kills. 
Oh, that's easy. <laughs> no problemo right there. Oh, another 40 kills. Not bad. How much damage has this thing taken? Uh, still not a lot. Still only like 300 or something like that. So this thing definitely has some longevity for it. Uh, it should be fine for a while here. It shouldn't die for a good amount of time, which is definitely very, very good. Although it is slowly being at an incline here as the zombie piles actually build up. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I don't think the experimental, uh, we'll call it wine mode, uh, which a lot of you guys know is uh, th this red stuff on the ground. I might get demonetized. It's happened before, so I'm not going to mention what it is. Uh, but basically, in the experimental mode, that can pool up and stuff like that. But I really don't think it'll have too much of an effect in this battlefield. It won't create any large areas or anything like that because um, there's no real like little areas where that can happen on this map. So I, I don't think that will end up actually being a factor in this. Also, there's some zombies going... Although, why are they moving like that? That's so weird. I thought for a second they were going to like flank somewhere, but I was like, there's nowhere to flank. So, I don't know. Definitely a little bit bizarre. There's some moving underwater here. I'm surprised they're not drowning. <laughs> I don't know. This game, man. Sometimes it's like, oh, yeah, that, that would cause death. And then other times it's like, nah, you're good. You're Gucci, my dude. Don't even worry about it. Either way, right now, we're at 59,000 dead zombies. And, oh, actually just turned to one as we were talking. Two now, modern soldiers. And, oh, I think it's because of over here. Oh, yeah, this is real bad. This is real bad. Oh, my God, we're going to do a little maneuver here. We're going to do a little maneuver. I'm going to move one of the Sherman tanks to body block over here. They did decide to end up flanking, man. They decided to go for the flank maneuver. We're moving that over there to body block and try and help out some modern soldiers on the left side. Come on, boys. All right, this is, in fact, splitting this bridge into two defense points, which is no good. Uh, yeah, the zombies are coming all the way from over here. That is crazy. Oh, even from all the way back here. These zombies will stop at nothing to flank, man. They love flanking. Holy cow. Okay, well, that is definitely going to be a bit of a problem for this bridge here. Hopefully, they can last for quite a while or else... You know, things will get pretty dicey. Why don't we go ahead and do a time lapse of this bridge holding out here and see if they fall or if they can survive. Either way, let's get into it. So at this point over here, it looks like all of the modern soldiers died, and now it's just zombies versus three Sherman tanks. Hopefully these Sherman tanks can last for quite a while, because obviously we've got these boys over this way who need them to last for quite a while, because I think if they get flanked, it'll be over. Once again, we have another battle where if they just wouldn't get flanked, I think it would be fine. I think all would be Gucci. But no, the zombies always figure out a way to flank <laughs> every single time. Also, this water is very... What is happening? That's so weird. Trippy, okay. Um, that's very trippy. All right, well, either way, I think if they do lose this battle, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll station some more troopers on this bridge too. And then we'll, I guess, see if they decide to flank from all the way over there as well. <laughs> It's entirely possible. It is entirely possible. But we'll let this one play out for, of course, a while longer. Let's go ahead and do a little time lapse of this bridge over here since it's actually still standing somewhat. And we'll see if the zombies end up being able to flank from the other side. Let's do it. Okay, so as we can see here, clearly the Zombos did end up fully destroying those last few tanks over there. And now they're coming for these tanks as well as these modern soldiers over this way. I think they'll 
gain victory probably pretty quickly here. Um, yeah, probably no competition. So let's just speed up to the end of this thing and then we'll run the battle again, but we'll go ahead and cover that bridge as well with some modern soldiers to see how they do that time. And hopefully no more flanking. We'll just have to see. Maybe there will be some flankeroonies. As was expected, the zombies did end up winning right there with uh, 435,000 losses, which is not too bad for the defenders, but I think we could do better. Let's set it up. Alrighty then, boys, we're getting this shiz biz started. So I did add, of course, like I said, another bridge defense over here. And just in case, because I, I know the next bridge is very, very far away, but just in case, we have 200 modern soldiers defending this small little mountain pass area over here, just in case there's a flank. I don't know if there will be, but last time we didn't exactly think there would be a flank on that bridge, so you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? So we, we hooked that up, we hooked that up. Um, it does seem like less Shermans actually spawned in this time. It's kind of a crapshoot if all of them spawn in or not, um, based on like the blocking of stuff, so that's a bit of a rip, but I think it should still be strong enough to hold, hopefully. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see, and we do have zombies this time around doing this little flank a uh much earlier than last time, much, much earlier, and that's because, of course, there are targets over here for them uh, to go ahead and attack right off the rip, so that does make some sense there, but there are five Sherman tanks over this way uh, ready and rearing to go and defend. Let's go ahead and do another little time lapse here, uh, and this time around, it'll be of this brand new bridge, uh, and hopefully by the time lapse is over we will not have found that these guys got flanked <laughs> but it might happen and that's why we have that precaution of extra soldiers on the other side either way let's go ahead and cue this time lapse Alright, so it's been about an hour now, and we have uh, 2.9 million zombies left alive currently. So about a million killed thus far, and only one modern soldier has died. Wow, I, I do wonder where that death came from. Could honestly be anywhere, maybe over here? This, this looks like it's been a little precarious. A little precarious? Oh, over here too, potentially. I don't know. Came from somewhere though, we do know that. Um, but thus far, I mean, they are killing the game, baby! Is anyone um, attacking the flank? Nah, these guys are just chilling, having a good time. So, uh, clearly, no flankeroonies are being sprung on these US Titans right now. Uh, instead, it's it's pure bridge battle chaos. Wow, look at all these. Look at this craziness in the waters. In the waters. That's nuts. Um, yeah. Thinking, thinking this is going to be a big fat dubski. It's just a matter of time here. We'll go ahead and let this run for a while and see what happens. It is a long while later and there is merely uh, 246,000 zombies left. Yeah, these guys got toasted. Absolutely freaking toasted by the U.S. Army here the modern soldiers. So, why don't we go ahead and close this out with another time lapse. We can just enjoy the carnage, the carnage uh, of the zombies getting destroyed over here. There's also, of course, that bridge over that way, and then the bridge over that way too. Uh, but we'll go with this one here. Look at that, zombies just popping up in the air over and over again. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and do this time lapse.
Okay, so at the very end there, apparently some things took a bit of a turn. I think the zombies ended up flanking quite a bit and killed a number of the modern soldiers, which is kind of crazy, but there's still some alive over here. I think these guys ended up winning the day, and then also, well, there's still a solid chunk over here, too. <laughs> so these guys are still alive and doing fine. Um, so I don't know actually how the zombies snuck through. Maybe one of the bridges broke and then the, the rest had them sneak through and attack. I'm not totally sure. Oh, it also looks like they made some bridges, so they probably were able to attack that way. But either way, the modern soldiers still managed a victory despite that, but ended up being weirdly close at the very end there. That's crazy. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.